Hey everyone, Myron here, and today I'm going to tell you why I think Olimar is top tier in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. To get us started, I'll give a brief overview of what Olimar does well. His most straightforward strength is controlling neutral with long range attacks and racking up damage as the opponent is forced to approach. However, he also does quite well up close, having solid close quarter combat options that can lead into low and mid percent combos. This is where Olimar excels the most though. His damage capabilities are some of the highest in Smash Bros, since he can latch a Pikmin on before he even attacks to add extra damage. These two strengths combined means Olimar can force an opponent to approach while getting damage, and when they're closer, he can crank it up a notch to get them to high percents quickly, making Chaos easy to score through his strong smashes, aerials, and kill throws. Now that you have an idea of what Olimar is good at, let's take a look at why he'll be top tier. Ultimate has brought forth a slew of buffs that make him even more powerful than he was in Smash 4. Numerous damage buffs across the board have made his attacks hit harder and increased side B's damage per tick. The Pikmin multipliers have also seemingly been increased to further his boost in strength. To put it into perspective, in Ultimate, his red forward smash is hitting as hard as his purple forward smash did in Smash 4. Some additional buffs are his lowered lag on Whistle, making it even safer to use, his longer grab range, properly disjointed aerials with regular priority, and his much safer up smash. The last big buff, however, is to his movement. Ultimate has increased the speed of pretty much every character in the game. This is great for a character like Olimar, who was slow in every way beforehand. This means Olimar can help keep up with running opponents, tech chase better, and put distance between him and the opponent easier than before. While yes, Olimar will still likely have some struggles and disadvantage, I feel they won't be polarizing enough to keep him below many characters. Lower whistle lag means armor usage should be at the forefront of your defensive options and his strong up B also gives him plenty of maneuverability in the air. I think it's safe to say that this iteration of Olimar is one that will push forward with a properly fleshed out moveset and high skill ceiling giving room for consistent growth throughout the meta.